Okay, so guys, just to uh, give you an update, we um, managed to fit the motor in my absence, and um, we realized that some of the things are fitting too easy. So we had the motor out this morning, and we're rechecking one one more time, put it back in, because we might have a clearance issue with the supercharger. We um, fitted the motor and never fitted the supercharger to make sure that it fits. So we're just making sure. So hot thumbs. If it doesn't, we're going to move the whole motor around. That should come forward. <laughs> we saved a lot of work. It fits. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, me too. Don't worry. Hmm? Me too. Don't worry. Well, we'll get some later. I think you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it was way over because remember, now your aircon parts are in. No, that thing is clearing too. I don't know, maybe that's my spirit now. I had it all there. Yes, all there. but remember, your steering box bolts on there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when that's in, we try to make that other motor fit. So I think we would have way over there. Lift the steering box now with one board and then shift it. So I think this is a much better position for the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can talk this down a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so we're still sitting with the issue of the, the steering box that's fouling with the alternator over there. And um, we've obviously now moved the, the cross member out, we've removed it, and we need to put the other one in. But the problem is we're still fouling with the, the steering shaft and the alternator and the piping for the new gearbox, the steering box. So that's, that's going to be an issue. And we're just trying to find the ideal position. Um, the one that we did before um, was the engine was in a different position because of various other reasons, um, different gearbox have been used, etc., etc. So this one we, we hopefully will have more space to work with. So we'll keep you informed. Pitman arm is the problem. We can tilt it up a bit, we won't get work. Yeah, do we have to shave here? This uh, that piece of welding that's that's strengthening this. Okay, so basically what we need to do is go in between the two. We need to just go a little bit forward and a little bit up. So around there. And you should be close enough still go up there and your pipe should still clear. So what we need to do is try and find fittings that's slimline and, and then test with the fittings installed. So I think let's get the steering box to take it and make sure it's the one that we're going to use because they might be different and um, get the right fittings. Is it a reading for you uh the packing that might be bought and then oh, yes, it's okay. yeah so yeah. there's no need to be crafted. So yeah, yeah let's use it. He's lost it now. Yeah. Up. Up. Yeah. Move, move, move. <laughs> talk, move, talk. Yeah. Back in the small arms. I try, as you said, to move it, move it. Yeah. But you see the last thing is now, you can yeah. probably get away with this tank. Being modified slightly, and you can still come further down with that radiator. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can see here, uh, this one is still, you can cut very off, this is just... Yeah, but I think what, where you're going to touch is on this. So you can come further with this. No, we take that drain and put another end. Yeah, yeah, that can go on the other side. So you can get at least 15 minutes now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you might get away with it. You haven't got a straight edge for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at, look at the edge, yeah? Okay. I'll do this. I'll hold it straight there. Eh? I'll hold it straight there. Eh? Yeah. Clearly. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so if we can mount it like this, we can make this radiator 100 miles longer. Okay. We must just make sure that nothing else there will do. We must also see if that cross member can fit here and if we can bring it forward. So in other words, your cross member will now go. Yeah, but yeah, I, 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 I remember. We cut off this. We need to go this yeah. way. Yeah. So your cross member must go in this way. You can come right down to this. I like it. <laughs> so now we mount box and make pipe. Yeah. Um, just check your shoulder. You can drop this down a hundred moles now. See what we've done? Yeah. We've mounted the box. Yeah, we've got on this angle here. See where the radio is. See what I'm getting at? If you're on this edge now, mm -hmm. you can pass this box. So you go straight down. Very worst case scenario, you can modify the tank slightly in that area, put a little dent in the tank. But you should now get 100 moles extra on that radiator, no problem. In fact, it might give you... You could probably make a pipe then at the bottom of this tank. Well, we're going to do both, both of that, that, that side. We're putting pipes on both sides. Okay. So the pipe is going that side now. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's not problem. 100 more than I was saying. 100 more than I was Yeah, 100 more than I was saying. That's from the PSC, I opened up the heat shrink. Thank you. Yeah. We are getting somewhere. What are you doing? We are now removing the steering box. Because Chinas is happy with where the steering box is. Oh. We now oh. need to start making mounting things. Hey guys, so uh, quick update on the Jeep. Um, we've been quiet for a couple of days, but uh, in the background we've been working on it. And basically what we've done now is stripped the interior of the, the Wrangler out. And the reason why we're doing that is there's, there's actually a problem with the, the aircon unit. And believe it or not, yes, we're changing the engine. But if we want to do all the wiring and, and really change the wiring of the, the Hellcat Jeep over to the Wrangler, the biggest problem is actually running the HVAC. So it sounds really stupid, but this is how it works. So it's totally different languages that the cars speak. If so, if you want to mention, you know, call it that, I think it's, it's um, the, the easiest way to explain it. Um, the one works with a uh, what they call a TIBM and the other one works with a body control module so it's totally different ways of controlling and reading in the car. So the only way to remove all of that out of the car is to actually work um, with the body control module which now needs to run the HVAC, the radio, which is things that we want in the, in the car anyway because the radio controls so many functions on the Hellcat. Um, we can select the, the drivetrain modes and all those kind of things with the radio. So we definitely want the radio in the car and that forces us to, to try and get this aircon in the car. Luckily, the aircon units are very similar, maybe a little bit different in size, but we could probably make it fit under the dash. If not, what we're hoping to do is just change over the, the actuators on the, on the aircon, which should have very similar functions. There might be problems with the angles of how much it opens each flap, etc., etc. but we'll try and figure that out. To give you guys an idea as well, this is the dash frame, um, and, and we normally call it the dash frame, but this one is actually quite interesting because it's a cast frame. So um, we're going to try and obviously retain this. To change that is, is quite dramatic and uh, we want to try and use this. And that's why we're, not, we're probably going to stick to the original aircon unit by changing over the, the actuators. Then everything fits underneath this and it makes it a lot easier. That's what it looks like. We've also got the drive shafts back. So the drop shafts have been um, shortened and lengthened. Um, we've actually lengthened the, the front one and shortened the back one. So there we go, all ready to get fitted. So we've also got the cross member in, as you can see, and the mountings for the steering box. So all of those things are in place now and that's all done. So ready to install the motor.